Well, hello everyone. It's Chris Rubio again. How are you? Uh, the restoration of Notre Dame and Donald Trump. What could uh, what in the world could these two things have in common? Well, uh, <laughs> I would say, believe it or not, the animating force behind both those two things uh, is exactly the same. I was watching some videos this morning on the restoration of, of Notre Dame. It's, uh, I remember, remember I was working on a house in Inglewood, California, the day that it, it burned, and it was just astonishing and sad. And and uh, then they announced they're going to fix it in five years, which I thought, ooh, mm, five years. But it is it has been amazing to see the world and that, and certainly France, come together to to, to uh, unify around this goal. We're going to bring this thing back. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rebuild every single bit of it, and we're gonna put it back together as it was, and it. it's gonna be better and stronger than it was before, and 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 once again take its place, towering above Paris as an icon of history and religion and art and culture, you know, inspiring the world. And um, unless you haven't figured it out already, that's exactly what make America great again. It's all about, and that's exactly why it has, or it had, and continues continues to have an appeal to people. It's inspirational. It gives people hope. It gives people that sense of restoring once what once was great, or at least felt like it was great, to greatness again. Um, it, it continues to astonish me how people I talk to have don't understand what the appeal of Donald Trump is. They, and not that I voted for Donald Trump or would vote for Donald Trump, although if he runs against Kamala Harris, hmm. Uh, so the, the assumption is like, oh, these people must be racists and uh, white supremacists and hate everybody and misogynists and all that kind of thing. And really, they just like someone who says, Screw you, I love America, and let's make it great again. Now, I'm not saying that he really believes that. I don't know what he really believes. I, I don't really think Donald Trump has any kind of center. Uh, he just says what gets attention and, and makes him popular. But that idea, make America great again, is, like I said, inspirational. It's aspirational. It makes people dream, makes people hope. In the same way that people are putting all their focus and effort into to, to bringing back Notre Dame. Make Notre Dame great again. And if you think about it, it's ex almost exactly the same slogan as Obama had, which was, uh, yes, we can, borrowed from, I think, the, uh, the, the, the lettuce workers movement of the 70s, I think. Yes, we can. Si se puede. puede. Si se puede, I think it is. Not that I know anything about Spanish. Uh, yes, we can hope and change. It's aspirational. It's inspirational. It, it inspires people, and a charismatic person saying those kinds of things inspires people. So, what's the takeaway from my uh, my weird analogy here? People like to be inspired. They like to feel like their life means something. They like to see feel like there's hope for the future. I personally think there is hope for the future. I don't really believe that all the the division that's in this country is actually real. I think people feel like it's real, and sadly, they're they're um, they're trusting their feelings instead of objective reality. But I think there's hope for tomorrow. I think there's hope for this country. I think people are probably going to get pretty close to the to the edge of silliness and 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 turmoil, but they will most likely step back from that edge and go, oh, God, why was I such a child? Maybe I should, uh, maybe I, I should grow up a bit and, and we're going to start getting along with each other. Maybe if, maybe even from, because of a, an outside force that threatens us. But, um, yeah, inspiration, hope. It's something that animates the spirit of the people saving and restoring Notre Dame right now, and for people who hope and dream of a better day in the United States of America. As always, I'm Chris Rubio, asking you to please think it over.